What's up, game? It's your boy Beast Gamer Kuma here with Contra Operation Galuga, a review, of course, that is out now on the Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, PS5, PC through Steam. So we're gonna check out our few thoughts. I am playing on the Xbox Series X version. I also have a Steam version, but I didn't beat that one yet. I beat the Xbox Series X version. Also, before we begin. Please hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more reviews, previews, and gaming news. So let's get into this. So as you know, Contra has been out for a long time. And I'm talking about, I first played Contra back in the 80s when it came out on the NES, and it was fantastic. And if you knew the Konami code, thanks to my cousin Ty Mac for hooking us up with that each time because me and my cousin had a hard time putting it in ourselves, you got 30 lives. But if you did not, you only started with three. And it was a one-shot kill each time, and you could go through those 30 lives really quick if you wasn't really keen on the pattern of the enemies, which, honestly, it didn't seem like there was one. But now we're in modern times, and this is a nice reboot of the whole series with new modern controls, new abilities, and more characters to utilize. And the best part about this, this is coming from the developers of WayForward and Konami Publisher, of course, and everything is in-game currency. There's no MTXs to worry about. No weird DLCs or anything, but the fact of the matter is this is a full working game, which is very rare in most cases, and especially these days. But right now, as of course, you start off with your two main heroes, Lance and Bill, who are, as most people know, based off of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone from their franchises of Predator, Rambo, and of course the aliens are based off of aliens. This is what's heavily um, inspired by many 80s action movies, and it lives up to the name. You are a Contra, which is technically a super soldier, and have to face off against not just regular soldiers, but androids, mutants, and of course, an alien horde that's trying to take over the world. Mind you, it is a tough game to get into because there's bullets flying all over the place. The best part is now that you got an... You can use the R trigger, the stationary year guy, and he can shoot in almost 360 degree direction, kneel down, lay down, take out all enemies, and you get the different abilities from power-ups, spread shot, cluster shot, laser, flame, and of course, homing missiles. Each all can be upgraded up to level two. And then now there's a new feature called the overload, where you hold down the LT button, and do a barrage shot, a special ability shot. And of course, they'll send you another power up later on. Like, you know, a, little, a few seconds later. But when it comes to the overload with the spread shot, it'll shoot out a barrage of spread shot bouncing balls all over the place. Cluster shot will send out a, a, no, a barrage of homing missiles to one target. Homing missiles, which actually is funny to me, it'll send out drones to concentrate on a target. We're short amount of time. Machine gun. Um, I forgot to mention about the machine gun. The machine gun gives you a shield. Comes in handy. Laser slows down time. So it makes you into a speedster for the moment. And flame puts up a flame barrage wall to protect you for that while you're standing there. So just in case you have to deal with a boss fight, you can have the flame, whatever direction that you're pointing the gun will put up a protective wall of flame for you pretty cool I, I, I like the action I like the movement speed especially now that you have a dodge mechanic or yes yeah, a dodge a dash sorry a dash mechanic either on the ground in the air especially if you want to get to another platform pretty quickly definitely dodge you got the same climbing mechanics from the old game where anything there's a wall or a bar you can climb off of the difficulty is pretty high especially on normal it feels normal feels like hard mode and any higher than that that's just whoo that's glutton for punishment but I love the challenge of it you don't only have the story mode, which is heavily written, by the way. I never knew that the Contra story was so intuitive. It's crazy. You also get challenge mode and arcade mode. Arcade mode is just pretty much a straight shot, so you play as long as you survive. And then you have challenge mode, where you have different speed running challenges and other stuff, like not using perks. And speaking of perks, that is also a new system that you unlock with each and every different character. So far, there are five characters that you can unlock, and then there's three additional ones once you beat the game. Perks come in different varieties, either for each character will have a different spirit ability, like for example, Lance, who I used throughout this game, he has a double jump, and then you get certain weapons that you can start off with, or you get invisibility, if you get hit, you become invisible for a moment in time, so think about that, about your perks before you start a game. Also, keep in mind that you have a health bar, 
Now, for some of you classic Contra players out there, I know y'all want that classic feeling. You can definitely switch to a one-hit kill situation, so you don't have a health bar. Once you get hit, boom, you die, and you use another life to come back in, just like the classic version. Or if you want the modern stuff, you have a health bar now. So that gives you more of a different feel. It's a play by choice, and I like that. You got a choice of how much of a challenge you want to play in this con. You can even go into missions without even using perks, which is also rewarding. But you also get points to use to buy these perks. It's in-game currency, like I said, and the Konami code works, and that's pretty cool. Because once you put the Konami code in, you actually unlock the perk for 30 lives. But sadly, well, not sadly, the 30 lives cost you about 7,500 points. So you just have to keep on replaying the story mode. To, you know, it's a grind. This is how the replay value comes in, which is pretty cool. Visuals in the Contra Operation Galuga are beautiful. The settings, the different designs of the enemies, the, the freaking world. Even the, the whole stages can actually take you out if you've done them correctly. But... <laughs> It's actually cool to just run around and enjoy the scenery. I mean, even though it's supposed to be a fast-paced 2D shooter, loot, like jump man shooting guy, and you just go through the missions. I know I'm not using technical terms. Leave me alone. I just love this game so much. It actually does hits every nostalgia button so far. But the fact that they add little minute details, like example, if you lay down into the water, it muffles the sound. You can't shoot in the water, but it muffles the sound. Luckily, there is no water stages, thank God. But there is a cycle stage, which gives you that Battletoads feeling. And it's not too bad, actually. But just keep in mind, you want to have to really time every jump, attack, and keep it moving. You do not want to stay stagnant because enemies will be... I mean, don't. I mean, if you want to just earn the points, because if you earn a certain amount of points, you get extra lives. So use that for your own advantage if you want. The only thing I could say comedically bad... <laughs> Is the fact, even though the Konami code does work, it does cost in-game money. I mean, I'm not... I, I, I didn't expect them to actually give it to us outright. Like I said, it's comedic bad. Not too, not too, you know, annoying. But the other thing, graphically speaking, there are some issues where sometimes you get stuck in a level. Like, I hate those levels where you have to rush to get to the top before something kills you. Like, there's lava or the green acid goop, and you have to rush up there. But then, while you're dealing with the enemy, sometimes you get stuck in an environment area not on purpose but you just can't move and boom you end up dying and losing all your lives that i hate when that happens it's, it kind of is bad but not too bad it also it's like a catch-22 with human error well my final thoughts are contra operation galuga gives the right amount of nostalgia to veteran players a new experience for gamers that never played contra before fun massive replay value a great story and so many unlockables that do Nothing with microtransactions, and I love that. It's a full game that is worth every penny, and not that expensive either with an ongoing sale at the moment, like $40. I think it's a little bit less than I think it's 20% or 30% off right now. And it's like, uh, it's, just, it's just a beautiful game. I love when a game is complete, and that's almost rare these days. Yes, Contra Operation Galuga is worth the $40. And this beast gives it five out of five beastly paws check it out for yourself right now as they have a demo available as well that you can try out on all the platforms that i mentioned earlier thanks for checking out this review and be sure to follow for more as always beast out you are going to shoot him no it's too late he's already imprinted on bill and lance Genetically remapped him for one purpose. Limit.